Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine like terms. Combining like terms. The saying combining like terms could also be called simplifying algebraic expressions. When combining like terms, you need to group all items that are in your expression and simplify their value. Something you want to note is there may be some terms which have no other term to combine with. Example number one, let's say I have the expression 3x plus 5x. You can think of your variables as items. I like to think of the variables as items. So this expression to me says I have three xylophones and I'm going to add five xylophones. So that means I have eight xylophones. So your answer to example number one is eight xylophones or really AX. Example number two, let's say I have the expression 15P plus two plus four P. Well, again, I like to think of my variables as items. So let's say my P stands for pianos. This expression basically says I have 15 pianos and then I want to add two of something, but the two that I'm adding are not pianos. Then I want to add four pianos. So I can't group the two that's in the middle, but I can group all of my pianos. So I'm going to say 15 pianos plus four pianos equals 19 pianos. And then I'm just going to add my plus two to the end. So the answer to example number two is 19 P plus two or 19 pianos plus two. Example number three, let's say I have a longer expression and it has more than one variable this time. Remember, a variable is just a fancy way of saying a letter. So this expression has more than one letter. Let's say the expression is 7V plus 12F plus 18 minus 10V plus 3F. I'm gonna combine all items that are the same. For this particular expression, I'm going to pretend like my V's are violins and I'm gonna pretend like my F's are flutes. I have seven violins and then I don't see any violins for a little while. Later, I see a minus 10 violins. Okay, so this is a little different. I'm subtracting here. I start off with a positive seven violins, but this is really a smaller problem that I have to work out in the middle of this larger problem. If I have seven violins and I take away 10 violins, I then have negative three violins. So I'm gonna rewrite my problem, but instead of writing the seven V in the minus 10 V part, I'm gonna write negative three V. I knew to take the sign in front of the 10 V because I'm using the minus sign that's right in front of the 10 V as a negative 10 V. And the problem became 7 V minus 10 V, which is what gave me the 3 V. Now I'm going to rewrite all the other parts of the expression. I have a plus 12 F to bring down, a plus 18, and a plus 3 F. Now I'm going to combine the flutes. I have a plus 12 flutes and I have a plus three flutes. So 12 flutes plus three flutes equals 15 flutes. So I'm gonna rewrite that. I now have negative three V plus 15 F. There's a plus 18 that didn't get used and there's nothing to combine it to. So you just bring it down. So your final answer for example number three is negative three V plus 15 F plus 18. Example number four, let's say I have the expression 8B squared minus 3B plus 12B squared minus 7 minus 5B. I'm going to say my B's stand for bananas and my B squared stand for super bananas. I cannot combine a B with a B squared because they're two different things. I have 8B squared and I need to add 12B squared to it. So I'm going to do that one part of the problem. 8 plus 12 is 20. So I have 20 B squareds or 20 super bananas. Now I need to deal with my regular Bs. I have a negative 3B and I have a negative 5B. Or you can think of that as I need to subtract 3B and subtract 5B. So after I solve that problem, I end up with negative 8B. So now I'm going to rewrite that. So now I'm going to add that onto my new expression. I have the expression 20B squared minus 8B, and then I have a whole number of seven that just gets added, and it, there's a subtraction sign in front of it, so it's a minus seven. 
So my final answer for example number four is 20B squared minus 8B minus seven. Now let's take a recap. The saying combining like terms could also be called simplifying algebraic expressions. When combining like terms, you need to group all items that are in your expression and simplify their value. Something to note is there may be some terms which have no other term to combine with. Now example number five. Let's say I have the expression 11a squared plus 16a minus 2a squared minus 15. Solve this problem on your own and comment with your answers in the comment section below. Did you find this video helpful? Well, you can get more help from me on my website, supereasymath.com. While you're there, you can pick up my top five math tips to make learning math easy.